this might be your last chance to get into Crypto Chronics cheap. Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Lux Fiat channel. Billy here, and today we're going to be going over the general overview of what the Crypto Chronics team has been doing and what you could look forward to in the future. With that being said, none of this is financial advice. It's only to relay the information to you so you can make informed decisions. But anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I like getting back to all your, all of your comments. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off simple. Uh, here's their new roadmap. They kind of uh, revamped it, gave it a little more life. Um, the last one was really cool. Uh, this one just kind of brings everything together, keeps it in a compact little area. But the last one wasn't terrible. It still had the same sort of uh, information, but I think they have a little bit more on here now uh, to kind of uh, just update what is actually going on. So uh, as we could see, Bronze Age... Crypt or Chronics merch store and arcade, which is actually already done. You could go to their website, cryptochronics.co.uk, and actually play some arcade games. They have their uh, a Flappy Bud, which is Flappy Bird, uh, just with a Chronics Bud as the avatar. And uh, I mean, it's pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> I sat, I probably spent a couple hours in that arcade the first time it uh, it dropped. But anyways, you could go do that. You could go kill some time uh eventually that's gonna earn you some of their token when that gets released but uh, but that's for a future video uh next is the cryptonomics token creation and staking so we actually do have the tokenomics available that i'm gonna get to later um after we run through this roadmap or and uh, kind of go into more depth on that and then they have the female launch which uh i was in a voice chat with the uh, with one of the actually all of the devs mostly and um, they said that we're they're looking for 420 as a female chronic uh, drop date it's unofficial it's not set in stone but that is what they're aiming for anyways uh, so look out for 420 for the female chronics uh, if you go to their discord you can already see some sneak peeks uh, if you go to their twitter you can see some sneak peeks i'll show you some of those today but yeah that's pretty much all the the craziness with the females, uh, when they drop, there's going to be a one-to-one -one airdrop for Gen Zero holders. So all male holders will get one-to-one uh, -one drop. So I hold 10 Chronics personally. So I will then get 10 females as an airdrop. Uh, that's just how they're doing things as well as there's going to be a certain percentage to mint after. And also with the breeding, um, the females can only breed once and that's it. Once the free females breed, they're done. Uh, at you can't breed with that female anymore. Uh, female Mint on a launch pad. They're looking at Magic Eden for that one right now. But they also could do Monkey Labs. Uh, more info coming out on that later. Uh, Golden Age is when breeding is going to come out. Family staking bonus. Real world utility like partnerships with dispensaries and discounts for Chronix holders. And then Diamond Age. Enter the Metaverse. Which uh, brings me to the, my next point. Um, they already kind of are entering the metaverse with MetaFest 22. Uh, they actually agreed to come on and uh, do a webinar. So be sure to check them out in MetaFest. We're going to go ahead and show a trailer right now for the event so you can get some general information. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would say they already have that checked off by now after they do MetaFest because that is the whole point is to get them into the metaverse and kind of expand the audience for them in that way but anyways let's roll that trailer for you right now so yeah guys they're already entering the metaverse um whether that means like their own actual game or not that is to come but uh in terms of their diamond age they already kind of have that checked off i've i've already kind of uh help them check that off and i'm excited to see them at metafest and see what they uh bring they said they're gonna have a lot of alpha for all the holders and new holders there so be sure to stay tuned um so yeah that's pretty much all they have for the roadmap as of right now i want to move on to the tokenomics because that's where this stuff really gets interesting all right guys just a quick thing remember to follow me on twitter just because we're growing we got 1666 followers 
rapidly growing. I've gained like 200 followers in the last month, and I just want to say thank you personally, as well as with the Lux Fiat channel. It's been going absolutely massive. We've been getting less views, but the retention rate on our videos has been crazy, and that is really what we're going for. We really just want to make sure our information is getting out there to the public and people are retaining it and making informed decisions on their investments. None of this is financial advice, but we do take pride in the information that we give you and the amount of research that we do to uh, allow you guys to make such uh, informed decisions. But anyways, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. A lot is there. I post a lot on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there. Uh, let's go ahead and find these tokenomics. If you want to go to Crypto Chronics, uh Twitter, uh, they have about 6,100 followers. Here is the giveaway they are running for MetaFest. They're giving away three uh, MetaFest tickets as well as a total of around, it looks like $65 for their merch store. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but their merch store is live. You could go buy uh, all their merch, anything you want that is on the store, go buy it. It is active and ready. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, here is the giveaway. If you want to enter in on this, I highly recommend you do because you can get a free ticket to MetaFest as well as money towards their merch store. And some of their merch is really cool. Um, so let me just find the tokenomics. It shouldn't be too far down here. Uh, like here's a, here's one of the Orca hoodies that they have. I really like it. I might get this. Uh, we'll see, but, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Here it is. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Here it is. Okay. So here is their tokenomics. So as a single holder holding one male chronic, you're going to get a weekly value of a dollar. 40 and an annual value of $67. That actually is crazy. Well, that's also with a female. So you need to be holding uh, one male, one female. But anyways, you get a airdrop of a female. So it goes hand in hand. Uh, an annual value of $67 for just holding one in particular NFT is crazy. That That's a lot of money. It doesn't seem like it, but $67 in a year for just holding a picture, that is absolutely crazy. It's better than a bank. Uh, way better than a bank. Um, but yeah, uh, average holder, which is six chronics, uh, will get 84 tokens per week at a dollar value of $8.40, annual value of 403. And so, yeah, you can kind of just follow the, uh, the structure and kind of see where you would want to be to make the amount of money that you would want. Uh, so let's say you wanted to make at least $600 from, a project you would become an orca for this and you would make 672 annually so that's something you look at be sure to do your own research uh analyze this with other tokenomics uh analyze this with other projects and see how it fits up but we're gonna get to that because they have some comparisons already with some of the biggest um what is that it's red and gooey, and it, uh... Ah! Did, did, did it just move? No! Get away from me! Ah! So here we go. Cryptonomics emissions. Nine tokens per week, five tokens per week, five tokens per week for the baby. Uh, family bonus, you get 15 tokens per week. Weekly emissions per family, 34 tokens per week. So one family is going to net you around 34 tokens per week, which I think is going to be around $3.40. So just owning an entire family will net you $3.40 anyways. Let's move on. Here's the comparison. So here, uh, I don't honestly know how to really explain a lot of this because this is a lot of math and figuring things out. So a lot of you numbers guys out there can kind of read this, kind of compare. Uh, but if they're comparing to like uh, the Dragons or Stoned Ape Crew, or honestly, I don't know what this one is, The uh, this cartoony one, to be completely honest, I don't know what that one is. Um, it it kind of shows that they're not afraid to put themselves out there and be like, no, we, we actually have something that's similar to these guys, and we're not on the caliber of these guys yet. So that in itself is a reason to keep your eyes on Chronix because these guys have a lot of smart people in this project doing a lot of things in the background that even I don't know, that even like a lot of the regular staff doesn't even know. And, you know, Cloud, the uh, main community guy, I would say 
Uh, he's always in the chats. He's always talking to people. Really good guy. Um, he, I, he, he likes to excite the community, and he he says that there's a lot of big things coming. And every time he said that, it has come to, uh, like the cryptonomics and everything like that. It has really, um, it has really done a lot for the project and pushing it forward. Um, and then they're giving away this chronic to anyone who wants to participate in this giveaway. Um, so go ahead, take part in this giveaway, become a chronics holder from winning this giveaway. Uh, not financial advice, obviously. I'm not telling you to buy a chronic. Uh, go do your research, make an informed decision, maybe buy a chronic. But for now, you can try and get one from a giveaway, and that will be it. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, that's all for... Uh, for crypto chronics, they kind of have a lot going on um, in terms of like their main project, but they do also have a DAO, which is called the Anonymous DAO. You need a Anon Mask, um, an Anon Mask chronic to even enter, or be able to do the buy-in, which is one like this. Let me show you. So uh, this is an Anon mask. This is what you would need to get into it. I am currently a manager in there. So um, me and the other managers will go in and set the votes and figure out, you know, what we're actually going to put in the DAO wallet. It all comes down to a community vote. But at the end, we have central mods. I kind of do the base research on what like to be safe and make sure that we're not going to it's minimal chance of being in a rug and losing the funds but ultimately all the votes come down to a full community vote with a 65 percent super majority so 65 percent needs to uh agree rather than disagree to, for the project to go through so it's not just a 50 50 it is a 65 to uh 35 percent split um but yeah so we did pick up this best bud i think this is like rank 500 something uh, for we picked it up for eight soul. Uh, Buds is sitting around eleven soul floor price, so we're doing really good now. We put up a vote for a nuked ape, which um, I think I think we're actually gonna end up grabbing. I'm not entirely sure, but um, this is kind of uh, the vote we put in, and so yeah, we'll figure out what's going on with this. But it just barely hit sixty five percent, so maybe we don't go through with it. We'll figure it out. Um, um, there's more to go on this, but we might actually be picking up a nuked ape. So make sure you can get into this uh, DAO because I know me personally. I don't know about the other management, but I know they're very competent. Um, I'm, I'm going to be making this DAO as big as possible, making it one of the best. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that that happens and so, yeah, I highly encourage everyone to try and get an Anon mask if you can, if you decide to buy a Chronic. But right now, the floor price for Anon mask is around 5.69 soul. So if you're comfortable spending that much to get into a DAO, go ahead. But I would wait until somebody paper hands one and ultimately get one for cheaper. Um, but again, I don't think Chronics is going to be at this 1.45 soul price very long I, I i mean they're starting marketing soon they have staking coming out sometime in march they have females coming out in april i mean every month has a big 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 catalyst for this thing to actually go crazy so just stay tuned all right guys so that concludes the video i hope you found it informative and helpful it's been a while since i did a crypto chronics video and i really like the team they are a very great team they they're very inclusive uh it's been the one community that i haven't uh, gotten discouraged from uh, there's been some up and downs but I think overall the community is very organized and uh, thoughtful and respectful of one of one another and I think that's a good foundation for when they actually start their big marketing campaign for the females and staking and having some utility to actually go behind the project because right now it really is just an art project and not necessarily a utility project but once they get the staking out they'll be able to market a utility alongside it not just say staking coming soon but they can now market it being like okay go grab a crypto and stake it for this and that and this and that and they could do something like that so that is what i'm excited for right now crypto chronics is at 1.45 soul price and i think 
we're going to see that above two, three at least in the next coming months, especially with the females coming out soon. So guys, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe. You know I like getting back to all your comments. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.